Okay, so let's talk about bees. How do bees do their thing? So first of all, uh, when you see a bunch of bees going around there, that's called a swarm. When they land, it's still a swarm. It's not a hive. Uh, when they actually start to build wax, then you can call it a hive. A colony can be a swarm, or a can colony can be in a hive. Hives can be open in an area like a tree or a branch or a outside of a building, or they can be internal, like a log, etc. You've got bees that are social creatures that cannot work independently. They have to have each other. So the queen bee is a female. All, every single 100% of the worker bees are female. So all the bees that you see flying around are female bees. Okay. Very rarely will you see a male bee. They're up in the air looking for the queen. That's the queen. That's what she does all day. The queen can lay a thousand eggs, up to fifteen hundred eggs a day. Okay, now uh, while he's doing that, we gotta put the, these eggs somewhere. So who are the wax builders? Okay, and we're gonna make the most economical shape uh, known to man for strength and weight and material use. It's called hexagon. Wax. Um, is a substance that's lipophilic, which means it loves lipids. It's a type of substance that when it's a um, when you put lipids in it, it sucks it up like a sponge. Okay, so beeswax as act as a sponge. So if there's any chemicals, it sucks it into the comb versus staying in the honey. Also, wax um, beeswax candles. When you burn the beeswax candles, they do not produce any uh, toxic smoke or anything that's. Uh, unbiodegradable. Beeswax is made from uh, glands in the bee's abdomen when they secrete their abdomen uh, or they have to hang for 24 hours and then all of a sudden wax starts to flow. That's why you see uh, bees hanging to each other and that's called festooning. So they're festooning and they're hanging on each other and then all of a sudden wax starts flowing. Then they take these little wax flakes that come from their abdomen and they start to press them together to make this shape. And they start with a foundation, and then they just start to go out and out and draw it out. We call it drawn out, so they can continue to uh, use it for shelving, in the sense that they're shelving. And they uh, have three things in the shelving. They have babies, or brood we call them, um, honey, and pollen. Uh, so now we've got the swarm that kind of came in. We've got the wax builders going, we've got the comb builders going, we've got the queen, we got a field bee out here, they're starting to make that. Okay, but now we're kind of getting a little hungry, okay? So what we need are some uh, flowers. Pollen is the bee's protein. Honey is the nectar. Okay, now we need some brood. For, you gotta force feed them. First of all, the egg is about three days old. And then after the egg, is, is, it stands up, and then from then it goes to the next stage, which is the larva stage, and it actually becomes a, um, a uh, insect or an animal that can crawl. So it actually crawls, and then after that it becomes a pupa. Right now our larva is being force-fed, because in 12 days he's going to now go uh, into the mode where he'll transform into a winged creature instead of the little inchy worm. And then after that, uh, he'll then emerge. <laughs> now he's also being fed royal jelly. He only gets a little bit of it. The queen, when she's an egg, mo no more than three or four days old, they'll feed the queen royal jelly, they'll force feed her, and then she becomes um, fertile. Okay, let's talk about the honey now. We all know about honey. Okay, so the honey is from the nectar that they're getting from all around. And that's why I got the Skittles, because they're all different types of uh, flavors of honey based on what they're eating. The flowers give a different smell, the honey will have a different taste to it. So now you're eating uh, something that is pure from the flower and a little bit of glucose, which has a lot of uh, nutritional uh, effects. And the honey is a, it's the only food that does not biodegrade, does not spoil. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this hive and see what we got going in here. Okay, so let's talk about beekeeping equipment. Okay, you don't have to have a big fancy suit and all that to get involved with beekeeping. All you have to do is basically just have something over your head and some smoke <coughs> and um, some basic tools, hand tools, and you can get involved in beekeeping. And uh, while I'm getting set up here, uh, Dana actually is uh, a beekeeper. So this is your basic hive tool. And you know, if you don't have this, don't you don't have to go out and invest in this. You could get a pair of pliers and use it to pull frames out if you wanted to. Okay, now we have to be very careful with this one. We don't want to. Um, we don't want to uh, bang this. Okay, there you go. Okay, open up. Yeah. 
Good. Okay, good, slow. That's good, that's good. Okay, go down. Good. Okay, now let's take our first frame out. And we've got... Ooh, you, you, can, you can let him uh, have it and pass that one around. Okay. Now, this is what comb looks like when it's fully drawn on the comb. And you see the top, the honey, the, the lighter band? That's what you use for honey. And thanks again.